Hey y'all, hey. Wow. hey Today we are reading Isabel as it up. Mama, Isabel loved math. She loved the soft curves of the number three, the hard edge of seven, and how numbers always made sense to her. In the quiet of her room, she sharpened her pencil and zipped through her homework. Quincy, you got a blanket right there. And then the new neighbors moved in next door. They made loud noises. They bumped. They clumped. They banged. They stomped. Isabel said, I think yeah. acrobats live next door. You fix this? Yes, I had to fix this. How did you do that? Was it Cairo or was it you? No. She couldn't concentrate with all the noise. She had subtractions, additions, multiplications, all due Monday. She tried working in the garden, but her subtractions got soaked in the rain. Why are you screaming in my ear? Inside, the rumbles got louder. The trumpets grew shrill. The stomping shook the walls. Isabel couldn't think. Stop it, please. She said, I think a marching band lives next door. She shushed them as loudly as she could. But the trombone just growled for longer. She stuck tissues in her ears and wedged herself in a cupboard, but it was too dark to do addition, and she could still hear the neighbors. They danced and they shouted and played their music loud. Yes, Cairo. See what? Yep. She couldn't think. She covered up her ears. Yep, and she said, shh. You finished? No, 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 no. I'm not finished. You still looking at this page? Yeah. No, how you get it? She stuck tissues in her ears and wedged herself in a cupboard, but it was too dark to do addition. And she could still hear the neighbors. They danced and they shouted and played their music loud. She tried to count the drum beats, but couldn't keep track of the numbers. That marching band has no manners, Isabel cried. Mom, I want a new blanket. You want a new blanket? Yeah, I want itchy much. Itchy. A itchy blanket. Yeah, it's itchy, itchy. She decided she would play her own music loud and see how they liked it. She turned the volume up as far as it would go. Her music mixed with theirs. What a ruckus! Mama, hmm? the water is cold. What water? Water. Yeah, mom, it's gonna be cool. It was. Yes. I like the water. It wasn't no word on that page. Good. Finally, their music stopped. But then Isabel heard the neighbors dancing and singing to her song. She stamped her feet up and down, making nearly as much noise as the neighbors. I don't want to stomp my feet. You don't want to stomp your feet? No. I want to walk. You just want to walk? Yeah, like this. My mama faster. My mama fast. All the way in the street. You do? Yeah. Are you going to look both ways before you cross the street? No, the car going to smash my bike. So you want to get hit by a car? 
You want to march? No. Yeah, march. You want to march? Yeah. No, it doesn't. Isabel no, had no, never no. handed no, homework no. in late before. March. She stared at her math problems, march. but the sounds march. of party march. poopers and a conga march. line march. made it impossible to focus. March. It definitely doesn't say poopers, this is. But the sounds of party poppers and a conga line no, no. made it impossible to focus. Oh, yeah, bro. Excuse me. Yeah, bro. Numbers didn't make sense to her anymore. Not even tracing the curves of three could cheer her up. She had to do something about that racket. Thunk, thunk, swish. There, did you hear that? Isabel asked her father. That's a ball bouncing on the floor. I think a basketball team lives next door. It's an elephant. It's an elephant. Well, how are you going to spoil the story? <laughs> Isabel had an idea. She made peanut butter cookies because she liked measuring flour with the three-fourth cup. And everyone knows peanut butter cookies are the best. There's nothing on that other page. Exactly. I told you the elephant wasn't on this page. Isabel had an idea. She made peanut butter cookies. Because you're yelling in my ear. Isabel had an idea. She made peanut butter cookies because she liked measuring flour with the three-fourth cup. And everyone knows peanut butter cookies are the best. She left them on the neighbor's doorstep with a note. In a minute. In a minute. Cairo. Dear basketball team, welcome to the neighborhood. I understand it's difficult for you to be quiet because you have big feet. And I would appreciate it if you could keep the noise down, please, as I have 14 math problems due on Monday. I hope you like the peanut butter cookies. I made them extra peanutty for you. Love, Isabel, apartment two. That evening, a note got slipped under her door to Isabel. Sorry about the noise. Thanks for being understanding. We do have big feet. We will try to be more quiet. Thanks for the cookies. Peanut butter is my favorite. I also have math homework due on Monday. Maybe we could study together. Love from Bernadette, next door. Isabel wasn't sure. She loved quiet and Bernadette made an awful lot of noise. The next day, there was a loud knock. Please don't do that, guys. Yeah, we want to choose this one. Good, Bernadette was not what Isabel imagined. <laughs> and it turned out she was an excellent study partner after all. They could do subtractions outside, even when it rains. I don't want to hear. That's Quincy. And now I help. You help pull these books down, help put them up. Bernadette was fantastic at times tables. She could remember six times seven every time. After all, an elephant never forgets. Yeah. They baked different peanut treats together. Isabel measured and Bernadette cleaned up. Got one. That one, that one. When it got too loud inside, Bernadette helped with that too. They both finished their math problems on time and sometimes. Yeah. Isabel joined the ruckus next door. The end. The beaver. 
Isabel, ask it up.